So here we have it. Uh, we got the Sakonic Handy Lumi. Weird name, uh, but the significance is that I got my hands on one of these things. As you can tell, um, if you've watched any of my videos, most of the products are the new stuff. It's, it's the newest stuff that's on the market. It's the most cutting edge and, and whatnot. Um, and that, that's exciting for most people. Um, a lot of people also get excited over vintage stuff. And I call this vintage because I'm not sure if it's actually vintage, meaning, you know, pre-1970s or, you know, just a long time ago, but it looks like it. Um, we were doing some spring, cl spring cleaning in my office and found this kind of tucked away. I'm not sure who got it and what it was used for here specifically at my company, but as you can tell that it's the model 246 and it cost $119.95 when it was new or purchased. Um, a little bit about this it's a, a, an aluminometer um, well, what that does is it measures the light intensity um, and and then has a gauge on it so uh, people in film and television or anything to do with photography they may they may use something like this so I want to just show you uh, what I found here um, obviously there's something missing here I'm not sure what it is uh, uh, but uh, they do have this accessory here. It's a cap of some sort. Um, it's kept fairly in great condition. I went ahead and looked this up uh, right before I did this video. Um, I looked this up on eBay and it's still going for about $99 or 95 bucks. So it retained its value really well uh, over the years, depending on when you know when it was actually um, you know purchased and manufactured. Uh, by the looks of it, this case is actually in very, very good condition, as if it's never been used, uh, and it says made in Japan. So this is a Japanese uh, device here, and um, many of you have probably have never seen this, and if you have, then you're probably, uh, you know, specific, you know, you're, you're working in, in some sort of industry that's specific to, you know, measuring light uh, or something of that sort. Um, so when you, when you bring it out here, it's just a little device. It's it's just about a pound. It's, a, it, it's small, but it has some has some mass to it. And as you can see, if, if I kind of turn it, you'll see the, the, the gauge or the red or the dial um, kind of move. And, um, and this is not battery powered. There's nothing in here, uh, at least that I can think of. Um, so it's sensing what it's doing is it, lights hitting this part here and it's it's sensing uh, the light here uh, and, and, and it's, uh, it's making sense of it here uh, in terms of foot candles if you don't know what a foot candle is it's basically the amount of light uh, or lumens that are uh, in a square foot so um, over here you can tell that it, it, the light intensity is you know it's it's barely there. Uh, I'm in a, I'm in a small office with just two lights. Um, I can try to um, turn on like a, a flashlight or of some sort if I can. Let's see if I can have something here in my little office. And I do, but it's dead. Oh, actually, it works. Or does it work? Okay, it works slightly. Um, let's see if it actually is able to trigger a response here and it doesn't so I'll, I'll have to demonstrate in another way if I just basically lift this and point and, and get it closer to to the sunlight and uh, there's a window right behind me uh, you can see it kind of change and you'll see the reflection of the sunlight and this is merely it's happening because there's a, 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 some sort of sensing device in here that's uh, allowing this ticker to move um, this is kept in very good condition. I don't have any use for it, but here's the backside, um, and it has to be calibrated. It was last calibrated in 1999, and so we know that it was purchased then or before that. Um, and 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 you know, usually a calibration company will come out and and they'll do whatever they need to with this, and then they'll certify it. So. Um, that's all it is. Uh, we've got, uh, um, I'm not too familiar with this, but, uh, but people out there maybe, and if you want to buy this from me, you can. Um, I removed this back 
plate or whatever this is um, from uh, this part here and I saw a huge change um, in, in the measurement here so I think it was just uh, this was kind of blocking the light and minimizing it and so now you can tell that you know it, 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 there's there's I would say about 24 and there's 30, there's 30 uh, lumens or sorry uh, foot candles um, at this point and then if I just block it out you can see it drastically just go to zero and it does that fairly quickly so that's uh, the Sekonic, um device for you um, if you have any use for this please let me know um, I'm gonna try to sell it on eBay or flip it to somebody that's a fan of my channel so anyway give uh, give me a shout out if you like this if you want it I know it's uh, it's something that not a lot of people use but you may have some use for it